Democrats and mainstream media alike are desperately pushing the killing of Dexter Reed in hopes of making him the next great George Floyd, the next great messiah who died all in the name of racism. But here's the thing, Dexter Reed wasn't killed because he's a young black man. Dexter Reed was killed because he shot 11 times at police officers. Roll that one down too. Hey, don't roll the window up. I'm don't open the door now! Open the door now! Anytime a black man is killed by a police officer, mainstream media grasps at straws and hoping for their next big George Floyd event, their next big money maker, the next big political grandstand. Look how racist the police are. Reform the police. Reform them. Unfortunately, the context apparently doesn't matter. So right up on your screen now is a couple of the headlines. This first one is from the Washington Post. Police fire 96 shots in 41 seconds, killing a black man during a traffic stop. And then they use this high school graduation photo to depict him as Oh, look how nice and caring, and he got shot at 96 times for no reason. Here's another one from the Chicago Sun-Times. Killing of Dexter Reed raises questions about Chicago police reform. And to add to all of that, here's what the mayor of Chicago had to say about it. As mayor and as a father raising a family, including two black boys on the west side of Chicago, I'm personally devastated to see yet another young black man lose his life during an interaction with the police. My heart breaks for the family of Dexter Reed. Mayor Brandon Johnson is simply put pandering in this clip. Hundreds of black people are shot every single year in the city of Chicago. Black on black crime. Most of it doesn't even get reported. When's the last time you saw Mayor Brandon Johnson go up and say something about any of those shootings? Is it not that important? Or is it because this is an excuse to push his progressive policies? Why don't you let me know in the comments, if you were a mayor and you were trying to push an agenda, don't you think you would manipulate a situation in hopes of getting a certain reaction out of people? He said he's personally devastated. What, what do you think the alternative is here? You see, the thing is about these clips and the news articles, is they usually don't mention, or if they do mention it, they don't mention it to way later into the article, that Dexter Reed shot the police 11 times. So what do you expect the police officer to do in this situation? Take the bullet and die? And then what? There'd be no... I bet you wouldn't make a comment on that. I guarantee you. If that happened, Mayor Brandon Johnson wouldn't get up on his pedestal and say another white officer was killed today by a black person. I guarantee you that would never come out of his mouth. However, however, if a black man dies to a cop, even if he's the one shooting at the police who initiated the conflict, who didn't, in the original clip we watched, who didn't listen to the police officer's instructions. He was also facing three counts of aggravated unlawful use of a weapon and one count of possession of a firearm and with a revoked FOID card. So the gun that he had wasn't even his legally to carry. But don't worry, Mayor Brandon Johnson didn't call any of that out. He didn't say, this was a criminal who shot at the police and I stand behind my police officers because when something like that happens, police officers are trained to shoot back. And when you fire a gun, you don't shoot to injure, okay? You shoot to kill. Everybody who's ever operated a weapon before, operated a gun before, knows that. You're not trained to shoot somebody once in the leg, okay? If you're shooting somebody, that means you are shooting for lethal intent. Dexter Reed was a criminal. Now, did he deserve to die? Well, if you shoot at a police officer 11 times, what did you expect was going to happen? What does anybody expect to happen do we really think that we want our police officers to get shot at at any at any amount of time one time and them to not react imagine if you were getting shot at and a police officer was nearby and you're like do something do something they're like oh, i can't i don't want to mayor brandon johnson to come out and say how bad he feels for the person shooting at me this is absolutely insane the legacy media that's pushing this is clearly pushing a political agenda that is based on race baiting people every rational person realizes this is a pretty cut and dry case 
This person is a criminal. They shot at the police. The police fired back. And the fact that Mayor Brandon Johnson won't even make a statement saying, I support my police officers because when they get shot at, well, they went out there and they risked their life that day and they fired back because that's what they're trained to do. But no, he's just pandering for political purposes, which is why more and more people leave Illinois and leave the city of Chicago because of like this that happens. Is this really the kind of society you want to live in where your leaders have preferential treatment based on the color of their skin, even when they're criminals, even when they're shooting at law enforcement? That they praise those people instead of praising the quality police officers that go out every single day and they literally risk their lives because they might get shot at by a criminal, which is exactly what happened in this case. I meant to mention this earlier, but the mainstream media is trying to portray Dexter Reed as a really nice young kid. So they use the high school photo of him graduating, except for the fact that he's 26 and here's a photo of his mugshot from five months ago. So you start to wonder, why is the mainstream media purposefully trying to portray this in a very specific way? They didn't even have to cover it. Most so many shootings don't even get covered in any capacity at all. But notice how they're deliberately spinning the story. Instead of being like, criminal shoots at cop, here's the mugshot, and then he dies. Instead of that being the headline, it's, oh my god, a black man died. And look, he was so young. This is him graduating high school. He had his whole life ahead of him. And look, I don't want anybody to die, okay? I'm not advocating for violence. But here's the thing. If you shoot at a police officer, you're in the wrong. Here's the cherry on top. Dexter Reed's family started a GoFundMe. Yes, because nothing says justice quite like money, right? This is exactly what happened with the George Floyd case. The family milked as much money out of that case as possible, and it looks like their family, Dexter Reed's family, is trying to do the same. Imagine this. Imagine I was on the street corner, you know, trying to get some money, and my sign said, you know, because I'm pandering, my sign said, Hello, please give me money because my son died. And he died because he shot at the police. And he was a criminal. And that's why I need money. Would you donate to that person? Why don't you let me know in the comments? I'm so tired of mainstream media purposefully trying to divide people based on race, trying to say defund the police. Somehow the police are in the wrong here. Absolutely not. Now, are all police always in the right? No, but this one's pretty cut and dry. If you shoot at the police, you're going to get shot back at. What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.